Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tale of the Lost here in the channel. I just realized that I do have my my headphones in and there's kind of ain't no point for all of that. But either way though, welcome back for more Bungo. Now, I gotta touch up on a couple things, but before we do get into everything, plus the reason why you guys are here, if you guys are hyped and ready for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tale of the Lost here in the channel, definitely make sure to hit that like button for your boys, plus consider subscribing to the channel for more. Now, with that out the way, let's go ahead and begin. Again, I gotta let you guys know a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on, starting with, I guess you can say, the updates that actually did go ahead and come to the uh, to the game, because as of today for me, which is, what, the 17th? So, spoilers, I guess you can say, or breaking the fourth wall. Today's the 17th. As of today, we actually did get a couple of notices. I had to go ahead and check out these two right here. We ended up getting a new scout, which is basically the Halloween scout. I'm pretty sure somebody did go ahead and mention in one of the comments that, oh, hey, they were saving up for the Halloween scout when I went and bolt, when I went and actually pulled on the the Black Market Plus banner. You know which one I'm talking about, hopefully, for... Uh, for the Ayatsuji and the other girl, I'm forgetting her name, but let's just keep on going. Again, this is the scout right here for these specific characters. It's a lot, and honestly, these characters do look freaking amazing. I would go over their stats and everything like that, but that's not why we are here. Plus, with that, we also do have a new little event that's going on, which is a revival event, which, in other words, means that it was here before. Now it's back. It's called the Missing Persons Event, the Costume Party. And we'll go ahead and get into more of that when we actually do go ahead and make the video for it. But other than that, that's basically it. Now to go ahead and, I guess you can say, uh, go to the quest. Because, again, you guys can probably see that I still have my story to go over. Luckily, your boy was able to go ahead and grind up what I could for the story because the event is now on its shop. And sadly, your boy was not able to go ahead and grind out as much as I could. Basically saying that if you guys did watch this something video, you guys will know that I did go ahead and pull the Ayatsuji. And with that, I basically had my chance to go ahead and take on the little Black Market Plus event. The team that I ended up using was the Ongo as my leader because his leader skill is, we can actually click on the Ongo from the shop. His leader skill increases all of, you know, like the attack all by 20%. So it was kind of like the best one that I kind of saw right there. So I had him as the leader. I had the Tanizaki, which I'm missing two of them. Then there's one of them, you know, like he's right there. I had the Tanizaki on my team sides too. And then I had the Ayatsuji. Again, I didn't pull the girl with the blue hair, whose name that I'm definitely forgetting. But we're getting ready to go over the story anyway. So we will go ahead and remember that. And I'm actually really confused because this is a part one event. I thought part two was going to come up like the moment it was done, but they may give us like a couple days because they brought out like the Halloween stuff like that. So we'll probably get done with the Halloween stuff and then go back to part two. But I'm not really 100% sure on that. Either way, though, you guys have probably known if you guys do follow me on Twitter or if you did go ahead and check the community tab on the channel that your boy lost his old phone. That phone had the Bungo account on it. Sadly, your boy really did think that he lost his account, but thankfully, I took a picture of my transfer code a very long time ago. I'm talking about back when the game literally, or at least back when I first started playing the game, used my my like my, my, my super old phone, started going through the pictures, and I found it, put it in, and boom. Next thing you know, I have what like like a day or two until the freaking black market plus event switches to the shop so i literally grinded out all i could for the story i'm pretty sure i still had maybe like five more of the very hards to do so i wasn't able to get all of those stones but either way though we are now on the shop again only had two ongos left and then i had two of the tiny zakis left for me to get and then i could have been done but without or at least with all that done and out the way, we are here for the story. Luckily, we can just hit this, go to the story. If you guys do remember in the very last episode where we did go ahead and watch part one through part five, you guys would know that at the end of it, it was the girl with the blue hair who I promise you guys, I will try to remember her name. I know a lot of people were getting on me because I said her name wrong and the name that I was saying was the name of the other dude who's supposed to come out in part two, or at least in the summoning video. But either way, we figured out that she came to Aitsuji's office and there was a gigantic little scuffle with them. Tanizaki was literally hanging upside down, tied up on a rope. They started pushing each other back and forth, getting into arguments because I'm pretty sure Aitsuji told the girl, oh, hey, 
find out his name in five minutes or you're out of here. And she was like, oh, how am I supposed to do that if you don't even know if my answer is going to be right? Because I can just give out a random name. But Aetsuji said, oh, I already know who he is. And that's how part five ended. <laughs> Crazy enough, again, part six through part nine were locked between the the second half of the event now we are on that second half or at least done with it i was able to grind every, out everything so without further ado let's go ahead and watch part six through part nine and finally finish this freaking story let's go oh my goodness it was a lot yes but i had to explain everything before i could get out everything else and i mean i'll, I'll save the next thing for like the very end let's go part six that's her name, Sujimura. Oh my goodness, why do I not remember that? Sujimura, okay. So, this intruder, you know who he is? I never said I didn't. W what are you talking about? I'm just a man who works a small time knickknack shop. Oh. <laughs> of course, I'll shut up. <laughs> Homie just gave him the look and he was like, yeah, I'm good, my bad. His real name is Tanizaki Junichiro. He's a supernatural ability user who works for a private detective agency in Yakoma. That's what it is. Yeah, bro, you got you got your whole thing just figured out so easy. He uses an ability that affects the visual perception of those in a given area by creating illusions. He used it to become invisible and infiltrate this building. How do you know that? He can disappear? Is that why the snipers didn't notice him? But how did you figure that out, Sensei? Oh, I forgot. I don't do that. Whoops, my B. Let me finish. I know about this boy from the documents I had delivered three days ago. I requested a list of supernatural ability users who can manipulate visual perceptions from the Special Investigations Division. What? Sure, we have a comprehensive database on the abilities of employees at private companies, but... You received the information three days ago? Even though he showed up today? That basically means you knew he would try to sneak in here. Obviously, how else would I catch someone who can make themselves disappear? Wait, but how did- What? Hold on a sec, you knew- Yeah, right, the request was supposed to be kept perfectly under wraps. A shell that guards the truth is a fragile one. At least, it is in my presence. So what did he come here for? To steal. Just like the mastermind behind this plot ordered him to. Uh oh. That's not true. Right. The people would call the person the client, wouldn't they? Not that it changes much. To steal? Didn't you say nothing was missing? And yet he accomplished his mission and was ready to head out. He was able to take the most valuable thing in this building. In other words, Oh, no! Wait, the log! What was it? Him? I'm confused. Let's keep reading. What the... What is going on? What do you mean? The boy's ability is to use a spatial screen to create three-dimensional projections. Yes, he can become transparent, but the true use of his ability lies elsewhere. Would you be so kind as to show us an example? You literally just have to listen to him like that? Oh, whoa! He turned into another Ayatsuji? I cannot freely exit the building while I'm under surveillance, so this mastermind was forced to try and find a replacement. A projection of me. Unfortunately, even an ability that can create that kind of illusion couldn't possibly recreate something the user has never seen. I get it. So he's not here to steal a peek at you. Correct. While pursuing the documents. I came to the conclusion that he is the only person who can both interface or infiltrate the building and recreate an image of me. And knowing I was out of the office at the time was a simple matter of calling the detective agency. Huh? Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you, Ayatsuji. I've got it from here. Who's your client? Oh, she put out the gun! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness. Aitsuji is a valuable accent for this country that needs to be strictly monitored. Even just stealing his image can affect our national security. But I... Any detective agency that hires supernatural ability users has to receive authorization from the government to operate. 
with the power of the special investigation division holds, I can have that permission revoked by sundown tomorrow. Yeah, you're kinda screwed, big fella. You're back into our corner, now spit it out. Besides, talking means you probably won't have to worry about that girlfriend of yours. What the? You had no criminal intent, right? Fine, all right. It was one week ago. And then we're gonna get the, yeah. Huh. So, why do I feel like, because Aitsuji brought up the girlfriend, AKA, I, I, I don't want him to say Naomi because I'm pretty sure they said they were brothers and sisters, but, eh, you know, I don't even remember her last name. But I feel like she was here to get like an autograph or like, oh, hey, you know, I want to go to, I want to go to prom, but you know, I see she's always going to be out. So can you turn into him for me? And then we can go to prom together. Some bullshit like that. But let's keep reading, yo. Part seven. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This is actually unfolding really easily. I love how that looks. I really do. I really do. Oh, they're driving. Ah, uh, no, this is bad. What's going on, Taniyazaki? I'm gonna be late. There's no way I'll make it on time. Oh, he can't drive. Oh man, this is because I stopped by Kunikita's on the way out. End of all the days, it had to be one of the days of the year when he's in the worst mood. Why did his journal have to run out of pages today? The Kunikita within him becomes a hundred times more potent when he's in a bad mood. I was so close to promising I'd number every individual cell in my body as part of a health regimen. Yeah, it should be a place. The client's gonna be so mad. Oh, so he was driving. My B. Hello? I'm from the Art Detective Agency. You sent in a request? Damn. Maybe he got upset and left. It's pretty dark in here. Looks like piles of books. Is there anything besides books on the floor? Hmm? What was that sound? It seems like the ceiling is caved in. Oh, caving in. <laughs> no, stop, no! What? It's fo- Whoa, what in the world? Good gravy! Um... Did the building just collapse on him? What 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 is going on? Oh whoa! Okay, I was about to say, how are you gonna give us a story about Ayatsuji versus somebody else, and that somebody else hasn't even showed up in the story yet? This is that somebody else. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, <laughs> the weight of the books made the floor collapse. Huh? Fret not. This day was fated to come. After all, it's been several years since I've last seen the color of the floor. Uh, so you're the person who put in the request. None other than, my name is Kuyogoku. It's an honor to meet you, Kuyogoku. I'm a bit nervous now that I'm actually in your presence. Not that that's surprising at all. Even people living in Yakoma know your great reputation as the puzzle maker. Yeah, <laughs> as long as I'm not known as some silly old geezer. Puzzle maker Kyoko, or Kyogoku, my be. It's a bit different than working as a detective, but he's the world's famous problem solver. He picks apart cases by deciphering behavior from a psychological perspective. His clients include not only the government, but also large companies and people from notable and prestigious backgrounds. Oh my. Please, you must forgive me for dropping upon you, uh, upon you with the ceiling as soon as you arrived. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. That also made it unclear whether I was late or not. So, Kuyo Goku, what could the great puzzle maker possibly need from our detective agency? Oh, it's a trivial matter, or a trivial matter, really. I'd like you to pay a visit to a certain man's home. Someone's home? Let me say this before you clarify, the armed detective agency does not perform any illegal or unreasonable actions. Of course, I'm aware. That is precisely why I seek your help. The request is about maintaining justice in our world. Oh, brother. <laughs> Here we go. Something told me that this old man may have been crazy as hell, but I'm not even sure what Kuyo Goku's, I guess you can say, 
plan is but we got two more left to read so we might as well get started you know <laughs> something tells me we'll find out exactly why Kyogoku wanted Tanizaki to infiltrate Ayatsuji's home y'all like all the names right there that I'm getting memorized boy <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to meet the client so we're here to meet Kyogoku the puzzle maker I wonder what he's like also are you okay, bro? Ayatsuji hasn't said anything for a while now. He has such a stiff expression too, or maybe it's his serious face. The car is here. Oh, would you look at that? What's poppin' with you, Chief? So you've finally shown yourself. Heh. <laughs> uh... Ayatsuji? <laughs> Forgive me for causing such a ruckus, Ayatsuji. It's been a while, Kuyogoku. Sensei? What the? So they... So this was a test. It just wasn't for her. It was for him. Oh, this is crazy now. Uh, all right then. Huh? I intended to send you a present, but I went and made a mess of things. How rude of me. No, no, I should apologize. I assumed someone would be sending a supernatural ability user into my office. But to think it'd be you. How long has it been since the su- What? Since the what? The Suodo case? We gonna, we gonna rock it, shit. None other than... What's the sensei stuff, though? Having such a notable detective call me that gives me a funny feeling to my old bones. You flatter me. It is I who should be appreciative. No one in this country compares to your wisdom. You're a puzzle master and an exorcist. I'm grateful beyond words to be recommended by a sage such as yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that, is un that is an unnecessary level of humility, Ayatsuji. I don't know why I damn near like died saying that, but you know. Okay, so I guess they're... You two know each other? Whoa, you scared me. My apologies. There was a reason I could not reveal that fact to you. So I could suffer an upside down fate? No, nothing of the sort. The request I put in was stated exactly what I wanted. If you were to remember his image and project it around town, what do you think would happen? I'm not sure. Chaos. That's right. The Special Investigations Division would absolutely lose it. And why wouldn't they when someone they're supposed to be monitoring shows up in a completely different place? Of course, the team charged with watching over would rush right over. Uh... Indeed, and Aitsuji isn't the kind of fellow who would overlook the opportunity. Okay, the reason you wanted to steal his image... The boy lives such a restrictive lifestyle, so I thought I'd offer him a break from it. He doesn't get that very often. It was a small gift. What exactly does this gift entail? Basically, a small reunion, as well as a greeting from someone he shall soon be working with in the shape of a small souvenir. As of today, I must apologize. I wasted your effort by simply hanging it upside down and playing games with it. If that's what you wanted, then that's fine. Definitely not fine. He's right, that's not fine. You can't steal Ayatsuji's image. If he showed up in two places, everything would have gone haywire at the investigation division. We wouldn't, or we would have had to give up a month's worth of vacation. <laughs> no need to get all worked up. Delivering him a present was only half of my objective. The respectable half is a request from the government. Wait, from the government? Yeah, yeah. What happened to that? I wasn't planning on causing any trouble for the Special Investigations Division. The request I accepted was from a different branch of government. What? A command came in from the Military Police's Intelligence Agency. They want a monster extermination. Or, they want a monster exterminated. A monster? Yes, a silent demon. It can crush the nation without lifting a finger or lip or speaking a word. 
It's like the ghastly undead bird that emerges from the spirit of corpses known as on more on on Meraki? Is is that the word? You know what? We just gonna keep it rolling. That's what I always say. If you don't know the word, just say and keep it rolling. Shit, it worked for me. Our defeat would mean thousands of lives are lost. Even hardened criminals fear speaking its name. The monster is called the Architect. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Wait a sec. Was the Architect? Wait. Okay, before I say anything, part nine. If I'm right, I'll let you guys know after part nine. If I'm wrong, then we'll just keep on moving forward. And then obviously I'll let you guys know what I was thinking about, but the architect, correct. A man who's quickly become popular topic at the intelligence agency during the past few years. Who exactly is he? He can't be described in one word. If I had to choose the closest one possible, I'd have to go with terrorist. So he's dangerous. Indeed. A gentle destroyer in a movable calamity. If we had to measure his threat level, it would be higher than even Ayatsuji's. And why would we want those two coming in contact? Before we get to that, Tsujimura, I hear the moment you met Ayatsuji, he pretty much had his way with you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put it that way. It was more like... On top of that, not only did you accept some sort of re recognition test, but it, you also ended up failing it. Didn't I make myself clear? Failure is not an option. Do you remember when I said that? Yes, it was. Exactly. It was when you came to me and asked to be put on that assignment. Your mission rank at the point was a D minus, only two away from the bottom of the candidate list. That's true, but. I'm sorry, but you were the control system for the nuclear weapon and the weapon itself had you dancing in the palm of its hand. You think, but is acceptable? Oh man. There it is. Even everyone part of my recruitment class knows that Sakuji's infamous lectures. It's like being showered in the storm of in infallible arguments. Ah, oh my goodness. I hate sneezing. I really do, but let's keep it moving. Forget about someone who's his junior. It even leaves the higher ups. What is it? Riding in agony? Are you listening? Yes. So, uh, does it mean I'm fired? Why would that be the case? What? Roughly 90% of the agents assigned to that monitoring task come back crying on the first day and it begs me to transfer them. That many? At the very least, you made it through the trial. No, I suppose you would call it a baptism. It would have been nice if you mentioned that in the first place. Still, it was also cruel of the director's general's aside, or general's aid, to start you on that day. Look. Wait, whoa, 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 I missed something, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Sweet. Now that you mention it, is today supposed to be some special day or something? I had Suji mentioned something similar. I knew today would be a terrible day. Oh, it's his birthday! Whoa! Today is his birthday. What? Why would that make it a terrible day? It's not a complicated secret. I'm sure you could easily deduce the answer. That's why you're allowed to be the agent in charge of his monitoring. You won't get an answer from me. Yeah, you're so mean. Keeping information to yourself would be the trick to maintaining this job. Now, the problem at hand, shall we talk about the architect? To be continued in the late phase. So, we have the prologue happy birthday then i'm pretty sure we're going to get the epilogue or the late phase where we've already been again through part one right here we're supposed to be getting part two where we're supposed to be able to summon on the banner for kyo goku 
and then i'm pretty sure that's when the other black market plus event comes and then you can take the two from this banner and then bring them to the next one and stuff like that but they didn't really say who the architect was they named him a terrorist as well but for some reason in my mind when i heard architect i thought about shibusawa because and please correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but the only time that we've seen sujimura in this freaking show at all was in the dead apple movie again correct me if i'm wrong but i'm gonna keep on going it would only make sense for them to talk about shibu wasawa but then that means that all of this takes place before the dead apple movie but they gave us the dead apple banners in the events before this so if i'm right why not do it after I'm, I'm confusing myself. We finished the story again. We're kind of here for a little bit long. I at least wanted to get the story out the way, especially for the fact that I wasn't able to grind this freaking event. But now that all of that is done and out the way, we have again, more events to do, more story to do. And it has been a very long time since I've done the story. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've already made, or I've already at least recorded the video for the, you know, the how to get stones in this game, but I still have to go back over it and see if I actually like it because it came out being like 30 minutes long and I'd rather not keep you guys there for 30 minutes for just basic things, you know, because that's literally all it is. So with that, I got some more thinking and some more, I guess you can say, grinding to do on my time. But either way, though, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, do not forget to hit that like button for your boys. Well, consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content in the next episode or at least the next video for boom goes straight out said little lost we have to go through that little other event that we showed off in the news at the very beginning of this episode then we can do some story and then in between doing those i'll rack up in my mind about doing the how to get stone since i do have some people asking me that question so don't worry it's coming i just gotta rack my brain for it but either way though i'm a dip have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.